Hello my friends and welcome back to another Super Mario Maker 2 video. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be playing some of your levels. You guys might recall in the past couple videos I've been saying if you're making levels specifically for me to put hashtag DGR in your level titles. Well some of you guys have done that and it's my goal today to play some of those levels you guys have made me. So without further ado let's fire up these viewer levels and see what you guys have in store for me. The first level that we're going to be taking a look at is called Spinning Ascent, hashtag DGR. This was made by Anthem97. He says, spin through the snow, can you get to the end? Has not been played yet, so we might have a chance to get the first clear. If you guys want to try out this out on your own, the level code is right beside me. So let's fire it up and see how we do. All right, here we go. I love that it's Mario World themed. I'm very excited to try this one out. I think Mario World is still my favorite theme, despite the addition of 3D World, so I'm always happy to see it. I love the snow background too. So this seems like a pretty general spin jump type level. I don't know how we, we made that. Okay, we got a spin jump on these guys. There we go. So far, so good. Nice. I don't think there was any specific clear things like we needed to collect any coins, but we'll take that. All right. This is nice. This is nice. I like this. There we go. Very good so far. This is very fun level. Really enjoying it. Very, very, like, introductory to... Intro, good introductory to spin jumping, like, mechanics. So, for people that want... <laughs> I'm glad we got the checkpoint. But as I was saying, this is a very good, like, introduction for spin jump mechanics. So, if, if spin jumps are something you have trouble with, uh, this might be a good level for you to play. Kind of get the feel for how spin jumps work. Let's try not dying this time. There we go. Got the key through the key door. Now what do we have? Uh, never gets old seeing slopes. Oh my gosh. Uh, wait a second. Now, was I supposed to put that on or was I supposed to spin on top of that? I'm not sure. Okay, let's take our time through here this time. We There's no time limit. It's not a speed run or anything. So it's saying to spin on it. Um, so I don't think we want to put that on. Okay. Or maybe we, wait, maybe we do want to put it on? <laughs> I'm not sure. For this being the very first level of this viewer level series that I'm doing, this is a very fun level. Great way to start out. So I'm actually going to try and put this on. See if this, uh... Yeah, yep, we're, we're definitely supposed to put on this shelmet, okay? Because then that will end up killing the thwomps above us. If we didn't have that spiked shelmet on, we would die uh, to the thwomps. So, again, let's try this again. Through the key door, down the slope of no hope. Oh, baby. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so that's a pretty tricky. We need to spin jump on the very edge of the platform. Got it. Here we go again. That should be good. Should be good there. Yes, cranes, dude. I cannot get enough of the cranes in this game. Cranes are my favorite addition to Mario Mario Maker 2. I just think it's added so flippin' much to the game. So, okay, there's a pipe up there. I didn't even notice the pipe. Up the pipe. Okay, these are going to be sideways moving, aren't they? Yes, they are. Oh, uh, this is great. What a great level so far. Very impressed with it. Okay. Okay, there we go. More cranes. Oh, baby, did not see... <laughs> <laughs> Did not see the giant thwomp coming. All right, we got another checkpoint. Let's just go through the right door. Right is always right, right? Okay, we got a boss fight too. Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> we're probably dead here. Uh, maybe not. Okay, wait. How do we hurt Bowser here? Oh, this is awesome. This is very, very well done. We just got to stay alive. Very cool. What a... What a great level. As I said, if you're looking for some introductory, um, like, experience with spin jumping, I highly am highly recommending, highly recommending this level. So we do have to wait here a little bit because it's going to take several of these shell hits to Bowser to kill him. But with the spawning... Uh, there we go. Oh, I didn't want to die there. With the spawning of the infinite mushrooms, that's definitely helpful. So now, as long as we don't fall here, easier said than done. 
Through the golden pipe. Nice kumquat. In there, friends. Okay, so... I wonder if we fell if there was a blue pipe, but we ended up getting to the top of the flag, but we didn't get the very top. But we got the top pipe, so I'm gonna take it as the true ending. Very well designed level, man. That is a excellent way to start this video out. Thank you so much for making this for me, Anthem. I am looking forward to playing more of your levels in the future. Next up, we have a level called JRE POW, hashtag DGR. Again, this level has not been played, no clears yet, so we have once again another shot to get the first clear. I love first clears because you know what they say, they may take our world record, but they can never take our first clear. So this again, zero clears. If you want to try out this level on your own, level code is right beside me. So let's go ahead and fire it up and see what's in store. So here we go with JRE POW. Um, I don't know if this is going to be POW jumps. Not sure what's... Wait, what? <laughs> Wait a second. What do I got to do here? Uh, hold up. Maybe I have to grab really quick. Okay. All right. We're going to have to think about this analytically. We have... 10 seconds to beat this level it's a 10 second speed run level but i don't understand the trick i gotta figure out how this trick works hmm so you don't throw the pow block up uh, okay what do we gotta do here maybe we want to okay <laughs> that didn't work i mean we got slightly under the uh cannon but it ended up falling on us and killing us all right I want to figure out how to do this. This is neat, but I need to figure out how to get through this section. So let's try dropping it twice and then running. No, <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get how it works. We're ended up ending up getting smushed. I don't see how it's possible to not get smushed here. Hmm, see I was trying to swap the sides that the pow blocks on. I'm really not sure how this works. Whoa, that was it, that was it. We, <laughs> we made it through one, so I think we need to, so it's run, slide, grab. Run, slide, grab, and we just need to do that in rapid succession. This is gonna be tricky. Uh, let's see if we can do it. Wow, I don't know how we did it the one time. We at least figured it out, but doing it consistently is gonna be another thing entirely so let's keep trying here we at least got it once wow dude how did it... it's like you have to slide and grab on the same exact frame how did i do that the thing that's crazy is you have to do this five times i can't i did it once but i don't know how i did it and i don't know how i'm gonna do it in rapid succession either man this is crazy there okay so i what what i don't know what just happened i don't know how we did it but we did it that was kind of um kind of invigorating i want to try that again and see if i can explain it a little bit better so what i think we need to do that's it that's it okay so you run towards the power block grab it Drop it immediately and keep running. Grab it, drop it immediately, keep running. Grab it, drop it immediately, and keep running. I want to try and get the world record down a little bit more here so it's a little bit tougher for you guys to take my world record. There we go. We gained a lot of speed there at the end. So that should be world record again. Definitely beatable. I'm sure as, someone, as soon as someone sees this video, the world record will be gone. But there's at least something for you guys to shoot for. Little over four seconds is the world record to shoot for. Go ahead and take my record, guys. Very cool level of JRE. Thank you for sharing it with me. It's always nice to learn something new in Mario Maker 2. I'll be storing that little nugget of information in the back of my cranium. Next up, we have a level called the level, hashtag DGR, hashtag Ryu, SMM. So it looks like it was co-made for me and my good friend Ryu. It says this was a level made for Ryu and Dave. Ryu has a precision and Dave has a troll. Once again, no clears on it yet. So we have another opportunity to be the first clear. So let's fire up the level. See how we do. All right, here we go with the level, hashtag DGR. I loved the pixel art at the beginning. So this is neat. There's two different paths. Me... That must be for the level creator, DGR, Ryu, and me. So I'm gonna go down the DGR pipe because this part was made for me. So this is apparently a troll level of sorts. This is a long fall, man. 
<laughs> this is a very long fall. Holy rip. Oh. Okay, through that part. <laughs> okay, we don't want the star. Because the star would have killed the thwomp. Okay, we're doing good so far, gang. Doing good so far. Something's gonna come down here, but what? There it is. <laughs> and we're dead. All right, here we go again. Got this thwomp. Okay. Dang it. Dang it, I don't- Ah, oh, we're dead! I knew that was gonna happen. I didn't know how far up the thump went. But we're dead. That's okay. We got it this time. Okay, there we go. On top of the big thwomp. Alright. How do I want to do this? Okay, there's one hit on Bowser Jr. It's two hits. I knew that was gonna happen. As soon as he went inside the clown car, I'm like, I'm dead. <laughs> one more time. Here we go. There we go. All right, we should be fine here. I'm not gonna make the same mistake again. <laughs> Until I make the same mistake again. Oh my word. All right, here we go again. No! Uh, what am I doing? I'm so impatient. Patience is a virtue that I obviously <laughs> lack. Every time I go through this beginning, it makes me think of Tom Petty. And I'm free! <laughs> free falling! Alright, we're gonna get it this time. There we go. We beat Bowser Jr. Let the record... Ah, I knew it was coming! I knew there was gonna be a troll block there. I knew it. My troll intuition was screaming at me. Don't jump there. But I ignored it and I paid the price for it. Let's try this again, shall we? All right, so there's a checkpoint. No. <laughs> so he's saying, oh no, we ruined it. If we go through the door and hit the checkpoint, I ruined it, man. I ruined it. Let's make sure because what I'm going to end up doing is just restarting and hitting the checkpoint. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, wait, what? <laughs> I knew that's what was going to happen because I jumped for the checkpoint. Now we're soft locked. Soft lock city. All right, through the door. Let's try this again, shall we? Here we go. We're gonna get the checkpoint this time. We gained the lore with our last life. Okay, through the door, we should get the checkpoint. Now we can go through this door and finally make a little bit of progress here, hopefully. Maybe. <laughs> All right, that one got me. Thankfully, we have the checkpoint now, so it's not, not as bad here. Hopefully, we didn't need one of the shells or something. Now, got to ride the snake, which is probably my least favorite addition to the Mario. Wait, what is going on here? What is going on here? Uh, does that say GG? That might say GG, gang. I'm not sure, but it might. We're gonna check the pipe. Ayo! Got the win! <laughs> I'm ashamed at how many times I died at Bowser Jr. But you know what? At the end of the day, we got the first clear. Now, I do want to go back. I at least want to check out Ryu's section of the level to see what that was like. So really, really quickly, let's just jump through Ryu's door and see what his section of the level looks like compared to mine. I know it's precision definitely looks to be the case here. I like the idea of having two different sections for two different creators. That's really clever. Looks like we got a shell jump here. Let's see if we can hit it. There we go. Okay, this is cool. I can dig it, man. Checkpoint flag. Let's go. Very cool. There we go. Uh, another shell jump. 
did not mean to throw it that way. Come back, Shell! Come back! No! Come back! Okay, we should be fine here. Oh, uh, we should be fine. Uh, we should be fine. Ah! We're not fine. At least we managed to snag the checkpoint. Another shell jump here. There we go. Are you serious? <laughs> optional, optional trump jump. That's so funny. Now, trump jumps are even more absurd in Mario Maker 2 in comparison to Mario Maker 1. Mario Maker 1, the spike hitboxes were a little bit forgiving, but in Mario Maker 2, they are not forgiving in the slightest. That's really funny that it's it's optional. And then we beat the level. Very, very cool. Now, lastly, I just want to see what's in the very last door. If it takes us right to the end, that's going to be so funny. All right, let's check out the last door really, really quickly. <laughs> Good luck beating that world record, guys. That one's gonna be tough to beat. New record, baby, three seconds. Good luck with that one. Next on the list to check out is Treacherous Tower, hashtag DGR by Clads. It says, climb the vine-infested Treacherous Tower and defeat Bowser. This one looks really fun. It's got 12 hearts, so it's got a good reputation behind it. I'm not gonna be the first clear, but maybe we can get the world record. So let's fire it up, see how we do. All right, here we go with Treacherous Tower, hashtag DGR. I'm really, really excited to play this one. All right, so we got a Bonsai Bill, one of my favorite additions to Mario Maker 2 as well. I love the claw, love the Bonsai Bill. Making some, people have made some really fun levels with those two items. So it looks like we have an auto scroller and we're gonna need to ride the vine. I'm also noticing that there's red coins. I don't know if that's gonna be required, uh, but we'll see. I'll probably try to go for them. And if we get them, great. If we don't, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, I see a 10 bagger. Anytime I see, those big coins, it's just natural instinct that I go for them. So we got it, still have our mushroom intact. All right, let's go, let's go. Take that. Keep going on our way here. Avoiding the saws here, another 10 bagger. Oh no, oh no. Okay, we still got it. Can jump off. Another vine, very cool level so far, I like that intro. Checkpoint, that is beautiful, I love that. Okay, this is my first, this is really cool. This is my first vine riding level that I get to ride upwards. This is so cool. So I've played a lot of the vine riding levels in Mario Maker 1 where you move, you know, the, the screen moves left to right, but this is the first time I'm doing one where the screen is, is rotating, rotating upwards, that's, Another one of my favorite additions to Mario Maker 2 is the fact that we have these vertical scrolling levels. I love it so much. Um, definitely one of my favorite things in Mario Maker 2. This level's, this level's fantastic. Really, really well thought out and well designed level so far. Let's keep going, keep riding up here. <laughs> How did I not make that jump? I did not, ah! Honestly, this level is so good. It almost could have passed for a story mode stage in, oh, I can't believe I took damage there, dude. I'm taking damage in the worst places, but it truly feels like um, it could have been in story mode. The coins tell you which way to jump. It's teaching you the new mechanics of the vertical scrolling. Oh, there's a 50 bagger, dude. I need it! I need it! I got <laughs> I got obsessed. I need that big 50 bagger coin, but we'll get it. This this level is truly amazing. And uh Clads, I think is the name of the creator. Great job, man. I'm so looking forward to continuing on our way with this level. This level is just so amazingly designed. Alright, so let's we know the 50 bagger is over on this side. There we go. We got the 50 bagger. I feel proud of myself now. Okay, so we can keep going up here. This is progress. Progress city. Keep climbing. Oh my gosh. Oops. <laughs> Glad we had the mushroom so we could take a hit there. That's uh it's kind of nice. Still haven't seen a single red coin yet. Okay. Got the one up. We we definitely want the one up. Going to grab the 10 bagger. Let's go up the pipe here. Another checkpoint. There's all the red coins. Now I think... Wait, does the coin denote a safe spot? Yeah, the coins denote a safe spot. I don't think... I think we're safe. 
How are we alive right now? No! Okay, we're good, we're good. We'll take the mushroom, because I remember at the, the start of the level it says there's a Bowser fight. So we'll take the, uh, take the key, take the power up, and be on our way. Great usage of checkpoints, so it feels very fair after a long section. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, Bowser fight. <laughs> I love it. We can just cheese the Bowser fight. So good. The vine was an important element in the entire level, and the vine stayed important to the very end. We could easily kill Bowser by climbing up and over him. Nintendo, hire this man to help you create levels for more story mode levels in the future. Sadly, we didn't get the world record, but that's okay. That level was absolutely incredible. Highly recommend that level to anyone and everyone. Great job, Clads. Next up, we have a level called on off speedrun hashtag DGR. It says, it's a speedrun by Icy Pigs. The world record 17 seconds. So I'm guessing it's like a 20 second speedrun. So the timer doesn't seem like it's gonna be super tight. It's only got two clears at about, about 100 plays for a 2.08% completion rate. Let's fire this one up and see how we do. All right, here we go with the on off speedrun. Some of these on off speedruns are absolutely incredible. We'll see how this one is. All right. <laughs> oh, got him. It's just programmed in my brain when you see a switch to hit it. So here we go. Oh, oh, no, no, come back, Shell. Come back, Shell. Come back. <laughs> All right, here we go again. Here we go. Okay, we're alive. We're alive. Oh, gosh. Got it. In there, boys. Okay, so the timer was very forgiving. It wasn't even 20 seconds. But that was actually... The funny thing about that level is I just noticed he was using Delfino... Uh, is it Delfino Plaza? For the music. And it speeds up with the timer. I had no idea they had implemented it. I was really digging the fast, upbeat Delfino Plaza theme. Also, with a level that short, I want to try and at least get the world record. It's very, very hard to get world records in Mario Maker 2. That's something you all, I'm sure, have noticed compared to Mario Maker 1. It's very hard to get world records, so... That should be world record, I'm not sure. It might be beatable. I felt like it was pretty clean, but there might have been a few... Few jumps I could have made a little bit cleaner. I'm not not 100% sure, but it should be world record. If you guys want to try and beat it, there's the time to go for. And there's the level code right there. Icy Pigs, thanks for taking the time to make it for me, man. Had a lot of fun with that one. The last level that we're going to be taking a look at today is called hashtag DGR Cat Jumps made by Link Strife. I'm very excited to play this one as it's in Mario 3D World style, which is by far and away my least proficient style. So I need all the practice I can get on it. Very excited. It's got 0% clear rate. Uh, I think I'll be the first clear if I can beat it. Um, it says follow the yellow coin road. So let's fire it up. And as always, see how we do. So here we go again. Mario 3D world style guessing we're gonna need the cat suit which is great i'm really bad with the cat suit too dgr spelled in coins always a nice touch and always appreciated oh that's how we wait how do we i have never actually rolled in 3d world before i don't know if it does anything but and i just recently figured out how to high jump let's see if anything's hidden up here nope let's go down the pipe see what we have in store for us Nice. Seems like it's a little bit of a parkour kind of thing. Oh, cat suit comes out of the pipe. Nice. All right. Ah! As I said, 3D World is far and away my my least proficient style. So, let's see if we can jump up there. There we go. Following the the yellow coin road. Okay, this is awesome. This is really fun so far. Ah! Okay, hold up. No! Okay, there we go. No! How do I grab that ledge? No! Okay, we're alright. We didn't fall that far. We can make our way... No. <laughs> Back to the beginning with me. Can I just jump up here? Is that a little bit of a shortcut? No, can't make that jump. At least I don't think. At least I can't... No! Where am I? <laughs> Where am I going? <laughs> I'm just not used to the 3D world moves at all, man. Like, I don't know what what surfaces Mario can climb with the cat suit. There's just so many things 
Like, why didn't he start climbing the wall there? I'm, I'm confused. I really, really need to do more work in 3D World. Like, see, I don't, what am I doing wrong there? Do, do I have to, does there have to be a certain amount of space on the wall for, for Mario to climb in the cat suit? Things I need to learn if I want to get better at this game. Things I need to learn. Like, there we go. Okay, there we go. This is progress. No, no! <laughs> why, dude? I don't, I, I don't get it. Why, why is he not grabbing? Why is sometimes he grabbing and sometimes he's not? Okay. Okay, uh... Okay, progress city. Progress city! No. Okay, we're, we're up against the timer here. Okay, there we go. I do my best work under pressure. That's not true. I just want you to think it's true. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay. No. Is this beatable without the, the cat suit? No, it's not going to be beatable without the cat suit. Maybe? Hold up. I'm, I'm not giving up hope yet. I refuse to give up hope here. Can we do it, gang? I'm saying there's a chance. No! That was it. We actually could have. We may have been able to beat it. All right. We're going to restart and get a cat suit and hopefully not take damage from a Koopa. All right. Here we go. Try this again, gang. Here we go. Is this progress? Yes, this is progress. I don't remember seeing a spring anywhere. All right, let's go. I wonder if, can we make it? Okay, up the pipe. We didn't even need the spring. I was hoping we could take the spring with us. We in there, boys. We in there, boys. And we got the top of the flagpole. That level was great. Taught me so much about the cat suit. Like, I don't know if it hadn't been for that level. I don't know if I would have taken that much time to learn intricate details about the cat suit we'll take the first clear you guys can definitely beat my world record there was a ton of mistakes in it but i'm thankful for the opportunity to learn a little bit more about cat mario again if you guys want to try out this level the level code's right beside me feel free again to take my world record well that's gonna wrap up this first viewer level video i want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to make levels dedicated to me if you guys want a chance to have your level featured in an upcoming viewer level video be sure to continue to use hashtag DGR in your level title. Send them to me in Twitter, on the DGR Discord, however you want to get them to me. It's got a hashtag DGR in it. I will do my best to take a look at it. And if it's pretty good, it might be featured in a video. I also want to take this time to shout out the DGR Twitch channel because we're doing a lot of viewer level streams over on Twitch. So even if your level doesn't get featured in a viewer level video, there is still an opportunity for me to play your level on stream and you can see me play it. Just check out the DGR Twitch channel. Follow us over there. I would love to see you in an upcoming live stream. But for now, we're going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And until next time, take care.